I'm Jeff Hampton with the Hampton Law Firm. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the subject stalking. What is the stalking law in Texas? How do you defend it? What are your options? Thanks for joining us. If you wait around till the end of this video, I'll also provide you a free ebook, What to Do If You've Been Charged with a Crime in Texas. Okay, let's jump right into this. Let's break down how the stalking laws work in Texas. Now I'm going to tell you, when you look at the subject of stalking, there's a very fine line between the crime of stalking and the crime of harassment. Very fine line, okay? So um, it, one of the things we're gonna look at here is let's, let's identify what Texas law says about the crime of stalking, and then we'll talk a little bit about harassment as well. Now, Texas law defines stalking as maybe a series of actions, and it's usually a series of repeated actions, but it can be one action, uh, committed by one person against another that puts the victim in fear of imminent danger, including bodily injury or death, or bodily injury or death to the victim's partner or family member, or offenses against uh, committed against their property. Okay, the the one thing everybody always thinks about, and this kind of dates me a little bit, my age, is the movie Fatal Attraction. People always think about Fatal Attraction for the for the crime of stalking. Um, and if you watch that movie, that's definitely stalking. Okay, they burned the bunny and all kinds of weird stuff in there. It was a, it was kind of a crazy movie. But I talk about that to say this. Here's the thing, it's a little subjective, okay? Think about harassment. Harassment are actions that are done with the intent to annoy or alarm someone, okay? Well, that's pretty subjective now. So now we're talking about where is that fine line between harassment and stalking? And you say, why does that matter? Well, stalking is a very serious crime. It's in Texas, it is a third degree felony, punishable by up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. It also tends to go along with emergency protective orders that are issued and very strict bond conditions if you're charged with stalking. Now, what about harassment? Harassment is a class B misdemeanor a much lesser charge, punishable by up to 180 days in jail and up to a $2,000 fine. Very different, okay? Very different levels of, of offense here. So one of the things it used to be, the law has changed a little bit too. Used to, a stalking, stalking did not have to be something that was done in person. There used to be stalking and harassment charges that would take place based upon online activity. In other words, what do I mean by that? Whether it be sending messages to people by text messages, whether it's Facebook, whether it's you name it, Twitter or whatever, driving somebody crazy or sending kind of very questionable messages to them. Well, within the last few years, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals has ruled on that and said, no, 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 that's not sufficient by itself. That by itself, you can just quit looking at your text messages. You could block that person. You could block their emails, right? So that they have said that's free speech. Essentially, that is a form of speech. So if a detective is coming after you claiming that you sending emails to an ex-girlfriend should could somehow establish stalking or harassment, it's important you speak to an attorney because I want you to understand that alone is not sufficient under current law, unless it changes. If the U.S. Supreme Court makes a change to that law, then of course that's always open-ended. But as it stands right now, that's not sufficient. We have personally been able to have a number of cases dismissed or not filed at all based upon that issue. Okay, now I told you already that stalking is very serious, okay? It's a felony. Felony convictions come with all types of ramifications. It's hard to find a job. It's, you don't, you don't want to go to prison. You don't want to be on a probation that could last up to 10 years, okay? So one of the things that's even more difficult is if you have any prior issues of a harassment or if there's a prior stalking charge that's out there, that third degree felony can actually be enhanced to a higher charge. So the point is when I tell you that a stalking, the difference between stalking and harassment is a very fine line, it's very gray, it's very subjective, that means it's even more important that you have an attorney that attacks the facts of that case. So I encourage you, if you need help with your stalking charge, if you're facing a stalking allegation in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Metroplex, don't hesitate to contact the Hampton Law Firm at 817-877-5200. Now, I promised you if you waited around to the end of this video that I'd give you a free ebook, What to Do If You Have Been Charged with a Crime in Texas. Just click the link right down here below, fill in your email information, 
information, I'll be happy to shoot that right over to you. And uh, like I said, I hope, hope you learned something from this video and I encourage you to like it if you did and share this information with others and look at our other YouTube uh, videos that we have available to you. Look forward to seeing you on our next video series.